Hey everyone, welcome to Top Early. Many people know that there are two types of signals, analog signals and digital signals. But that's not the full picture. We have two more additional signals by definition. They are continuous signals and discrete signals. So what is the difference between these four signals? Let's learn that now. A signal is defined as a function of one or more independent variables. If a signal has variable x as independent variable, then the signal can be represented as a function of x as f of x. Now let us understand what is meant by continuous and discrete. If the function f of x is defined in a continuous manner, then the function is continuous. Similarly, if the function is defined only at discrete values, then the function f of x is discrete. Similar is the case for variable x. Now, according to whether a signal is continuous or discrete for both the variable x and the function f of x, the signal can be categorized into four. And as stated before, they are analog signals, continuous x signals, discrete x signals, and digital signals. Now, here, if the variable x is time, then we will call it as continuous time signals. Similarly, discrete time signals. Okay. Now in analog signals, we have both continuous x and continuous f of x. The graph of an analog signal looks like this. That is, x is defined continuously and similarly, function f of x is defined continuously. Moving on, in the case of continuous x signals, the variable x is continuous and the function f of x is discrete. This graph shows a typical continuous x signal. Next we have discrete x signals. Here the variable x is discrete but we have continuous f of x. The graph of a typical discrete x signal looks like this. Lastly, in the case of digital signals, both the variable x and f of x is discrete. And the graph looks like this. Now, if I overlay this original analog signal over these graphs, you can see how much information is lost due to low resolution of sampling. If the discrete sampling moments were shorter, we would have obtained a more faithful reproduction of the original signal. Now, for the purpose of remembering, let me show it in a matrix format. So, when the f of x is continuous and x is continuous, we have analog signals. When f of x is continuous and we have discrete x, we have discrete x signals. When f of x is discrete and x is continuous, we have continuous x signals. And when f of x is discrete and x is discrete, we have digital signals. Now please note that in everyday usage, we don't go by definition and usually only use the terms analog and digital signals. But uh, now maybe you can teach people the differences when they say it wrongly, right? Anyways, I hope that all the concepts that were taught in this lecture are clear to all of you. If anyone has any doubts, please feel free to ask in the comments. Either we or some other viewer will surely help you. If you found this lecture useful, please like the video and support us by subscribing to the channel. Thanks for watching properly and have a great day.